It's almost time for our annual spring drama production. And we got the inside scoop from Miss Stage on how preparations have been going. We'll have this and more on this episode of the Grizzly News. Today is Wednesday, February 8th, 2017. On this date in 1910, the Boy Scouts of America was founded. The Boy Scout motto is be prepared. So here's Gavin with a recap of this past week and to tell us what's going on this week so we can be prepared to get involved at SCMS. The New England Patriots won Super Bowl 51 in an amazing fashion. The favorite Patriots were down by 25 points at one point in the game. Tom Brady led his team to the overtime victory 34-28. Is he officially the GOAT? Monday night, 8th grade boys basketball played Bardstown in the conference championship. In an amazing battle, our 8th graders won 31-29. Boys baseball is currently practicing. Volleyball's next home game is February 14th. Please come out and support the girls. Thanks, Gavin. If you want to include an event on Grizzly News, let us know. You can contact us through Twitter or Instagram at SCMS Grizzly News. You can also let one of us know or contact Mr. Gross. Drama productions at SCMS are always very popular. You're right, David. And the upcoming performances look to continue that trend. Here's Lily with Miss Stage to find out more about the upcoming drama performances. Are you excited for the people to see the upcoming performances? Absolutely. Um, we work really hard on our productions. We started Annie in Jan uh, December, so we've been working on that one since December, and we've been working on Midsummer since November. So. We put a lot of time and effort into them, so it's always exciting for people to get to see the hard work that all the kids put into it. Can you tell us a little bit about the plays and what they have in store? Absolutely. So we have two shows that we're working on right now. We're working on Annie, which is our spring musical uh, that I work on with Miss Edlin. Uh, and we also have a professional choreographer that comes in to work with the actors on choreography. So most people know the story of Annie, the orphan that ends up getting um, adopted or at least taken in for a period of time by a rich billionaire. It takes place in the 1930s, so uh, it's a really fun play, one that lots of people know, um, but has a lot of depth to it, actually. Um, and then our uh, competition group is going to be performing A Midsummer Night's Dream uh, for our Kentucky Theater Association uh, middle grades competition. So that will be in March. What are the dates for the shows? Uh, so we're going to do a public performance of Midsummer the first Thursday in March as of right now. Um, and the actual competition is the 18th of March in Lexington. And uh, Annie is performing April 21st through the 23rd. What is your favorite part of directing the plays? Uh, working with all of the kids. <laughs> uh, we have fun. We have so much fun. It's, it's neat to see the creative process happen. It's neat to see people gain confidence, and not just the actors gain confidence, but my stage managers and my technical crew, and see everybody work so hard in, on their different jobs, and then to come together to put on a really um, excellently done production. How do you ensure that everyone gets involved? Um, well, anyone is welcome. Anyone in the middle school or the high school can get involved with the productions. Um, the thing is, once you are assigned a either a character or you're assigned a technical job, then within that, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. And we need everybody to be 100% on board working in order for a production to get done. Um, so really, it's innate in kind of the activities that we do that once you've decided to be involved, you're going to do the work that needs to be done. How do you think the plays benefit our school? I think there's a lot of ways that it benefits our school. We, one, is the entertainment value. Uh, that's you know one of the primary purposes of drama is to get to entertain people. Uh, but I also think it creates a creative culture here. People want to be creative. Um, and I think also it 
creates a sense of family for a large group of students. When you work on a production together and you're putting all that time and effort and work into it and you're performing in front of people, you get a sense of family with this group and we really have that artistic creative family within the theater department. Is there anything you would like to say to the school about the plays? I hope everybody comes to see the plays. Um, I know that not everybody uh, remembers, but in April we are going to have a great production of Annie and five performances of it, so you get lots of opportunities. So come and support the work that these kids do. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks, Lily. And thanks, Miss Stage. The drama performances are always so good. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing Annie when it begins. Well, that's it for Grizzly News this week. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. See ya.